So welcome everyone. Um, this talk is a little different than the last two you've heard. Uh, for one, it is about configuration and not code. Um, so the second is it's about creating a business process to manage change in your tenant. So if I can get a show of hearts from the people in this in the audience here who are uh, the primary focus is developers, and if I can get applause from people who have an IT pro role, such as managing the tenant, a global admin, exchange admin, um, that kind of of uh, service owner. So. Um, yeah, if, if everybody can just give me a quick heart or applause, depending on if you're an IT pro role, give me that applause. Um, and if you're a developer, uh, show me your heart. And I saw like one of each. Um, both then applause or do a, a laugh because you're doing too much. Um, okay, so for those of you um, that are developers, I would ask that when we're done with this topic, that you go and talk to the admins in, in, in your organization that manage M365 and uh, make sure someone is managing Message Center. Uh, for those of you who are IT pros, uh, this is some tools to um, help you manage Message Center. So uh, Message Center is this place where Microsoft announces all the changes that they make. And uh, what I'm going to talk about as I said, is creating a business process for managing those, which really is about getting people to do stuff. And that those things are tasks, and that's why Planner is such a good fit for this. So first of all, hopefully everyone here is familiar with Message Center, but if you aren't, Message Center, as I said, is the primary way that Microsoft communicates changes to uh, changes in your tenant to the admins in the tenant. So you have to have some kind of admin role that could be a, a message center reader or a reports reader or a support role. It doesn't have to be global tenant admin in order to access message center. Message center is in the Microsoft admin center, um, but you need to have some kind of elevated permission to get there. Um, and uh, this is important because M365 is evergreen. Last year in the tenant that I oversee, there were over 1,400 changes, change announcements uh, last year. So that is uh, actually we had 1,433 change announcements that we went through in triage last year. And what that averages out to is that every week there are 28 changes to M365 announced. Um, and so that's why it's important to to, uh, to to pay attention to these uh, because if you don't, you will get surprised. And sometimes the surprises are pleasant, uh, a new feature shows up, or, or and sometimes they're not, uh, a feature deprecation. Um, for example, a few years ago, Microsoft announced the deprecation of legacy workflows in SharePoint. And had we not read that message center and scramble to rewrite a bunch of workflows into Power Automate, uh, we would have had a very nasty surprise one day when all the workflows stopped working. Um, so that's why paying attention to Message Center is so important. It is how Microsoft communicates change to you. Now, if you are a medium to large organization, if you've got multiple people in IT managing M365, then Message Center triage is a team sport. And that's where Planner uh, comes into play. And uh, these 20 plus messages per week, what happens is that you can have those exported automatically from Message Center into a Planner plan. And the way you do that is in Message Center, there is this little Planner syncing link that opens up this task pane where you can configure how Message Center syncs to Planner. And so you can force it to do an immediate sync, you can schedule the sync, and you can pick which plan and which bucket in the plan messages get set into. And you can also filter which messages go through that process. Um, so that is incredibly important to set up. 
Um, now, once you have these messages in a planner plan, uh, what I've done in the last several organizations that I've been with is set up a weekly meeting of the service owners. So a service owner is someone who is responsible for a particular workload in M365. So you probably have a team or an individual responsible, depending on the size of your organization, responsible for SharePoint, OneDrive, Exchange Online, Teams, Power Platform, Windows, Office. And um, another piece of this process is there are some changes that are significant enough that if you're an enterprise with a mature change control process, you may have a, a cab, a change approval board, you have a, a change review process, you may have change requests that use a third party tool like ServiceNow to process. Um, some of the changes that come to uh, M365 that you find about out about through Message Center and or through Planner, if you're reading them in Planner, need to go into that enterprise change management process. And so, what I do is I get our service owners together on a weekly basis and we read through the 28 new messages each week, again on average, and decide what to do about them. And that can be, oh, the service owner needs to go research what uh, what's really this message about some improvement in exchange means or needs to take action because uh, support for an insecure protocol is being retired um, or SharePoint admin needs to go do something uh, or or uh, the or or the team's admin needs the team needs to do something. So assigning these changes to the people uh, who need to look at them, and that also can include people outside of IT, like or or um, who work closely with IT, such as your internal communications team, who may need to communicate to end users about these changes. Um, so the process you need to put in place is. Uh, at least a weekly review of these changes, which again, you can do in, in Planner uh, very nicely because it treats the each change as a task. Um, now, there are uh, pros and cons to this approach and different organizations will uh, treat this um, more or less urgently, like some more sophisticated organizations or, or may um, have, uh, may do uh, this review on a daily basis instead of weekly basis. Other organizations struggle to do it monthly, uh, especially if you're a, um, a one person IT shop for a small organization, uh, you don't have the bandwidth to uh, sit there and triage 28 requests every week generally. And it, it, there's no point in treating them as tasks if you're just going to assign them to yourselves. So the pros and cons of a weekly review, the pros is with, with a bunch of stakeholders is you get everybody's eyes on all the changes and you talk about them and, and you develop this sort of group consciousness about what's changing. Uh, the cons is that if there's a change for Teams uh, or let's say Power Platform uh, that is completely unrelated to Exchange, you're potentially wasting the Exchange admin's time having them in that meeting. Uh, so um, there are ways to uh, come up with your own rules for how you want to cha process these changes. Um, and I'll talk about some of the alternatives in a minute here. Uh, but uh, the primary out of the box tool at this point is Planner. And when you put messages in Planner um, through, the, through this sync, what you're getting is um, you're, you're, you're getting them in a place that's more accessible to more people and you're being able to treat them as tasks. Um, now, over time, you will take each message and you could be a group of people, but uh, you take each message and assign it to the, the concerned party involved. So again, the exchange changes go to the exchange admin, the PowerPoint changes go to the office apps admin, the SharePoint changes go to the SharePoint admin, et cetera, et cetera. And you do that mapping by assigning those tasks to planner, that becomes a, a machine learning opportunity if you wanted to set that up and hopefully um, the the product team that, that runs the M365 Admin Center um, recognizes that as well. And, and in fact, that's feedback I've given them uh, that this the, the data in planner that you develop once you've assigned a bunch of tasks to to, to your service owners uh, becomes a potentially a training set where you could train a machine uh, to uh, to figure out what the assignments are and that could save you a lot of time 
Um, so there are some alternatives to Planner. Again, if you're a one-person uh, IT shop, there's no point in assigning a bunch of tasks to yourself. You can also, in the Message Center settings, um, that's this link here next to the Planner Sync, uh, you can set up, you can subscribe to a, a weekly email subscription and process the change announcement just by reading email. Um, there are also third-party options. So uh, there are some, uh, at least one ISV out there that's made a software solution to help you ma manage message center changes. Uh, and then there are services vendors uh, where if you have more money than time, you can uh, outsource it and have other people watching message center for you, alerting you when there's impactful changes. Uh, there are a couple of other resources that I want to bring to your attention. Uh, the Daniel and Daryl run the M365 a Message Center show, which you can catch on YouTube uh, or in podcast channels. Um, and uh, and every week they talk about the changes that come through. So that's yet another way to consume this information. Uh, there's also a maturity model article that I've co-authored on managing change in M365. Uh, and you can also look at a previous slide here, uh, a PowerPoint deck I posted slide share uh, about managing change in uh, not just teams really, but your your whole tendency. Um, so I've talked a lot about this and showed you pictures, uh, but let's go and look at what this actually looks like. So here is Message Center um, in the M365 Admin Center. Um, I'll point out that I'm visiting this at admin.cloud.microsoft instead of admin.microsoft.com, uh, just because this is the newer, newer URL they are moving to, um, and you would have found out about that by reading Message Center. So in our navigation here, um, below reports under health, let me scroll this up, come on. Precision mouse here. Uh, why is this? There we go. Um, under this one, so you've got health, service health. So if you want to know if something's down, uh, you can look there. But under here is where you find message center. Click that and it takes you to this. And this is where you see all the messages in message center. So you can see right now there's over 600 of them there. And um, this is an OK way to look at an individual message. But again, if you're trying to play change management as a team sport, this is not a great way to manage them. Um, some of the things you can do in Message Center, you can archive the message, which just moves it to your other tab, share it. So you can the, you can use do that to send it by email. You can copy a link to it, but only people with sufficient admin rights can get into it. Mark is unread. Um, probably the most important thing here is at the very bottom, you can give a thumbs up or thumbs down uh, and uh, answer some questions and provide some feedback. And Microsoft may contact you about that feedback if you let them. So. The next thing I want to show you is what this looks like in Planner. So here we are in a Planner plan. This is one I've named Message Center Triage. And I've got a bucket called New Message Center Posts. And Message Center Posts have been arriving in the bucket. Um, and I see that we are very low on time. So I'm just going to um, click here real quick, show you. Oh, let's try it again. So the nice thing about Planner is tasks have a structure and you get all that structure there, although it doesn't capture all the metadata all that well, some of it goes into the notes. Um, some more sophisticated organizations do uh, take message center posts and put them in lists and they can work with the full set of metadata. Um, the, let's see, let's do this. Uh, Here's the website for the Message Center show. Here's the article on the maturity model. Um, and here's the uh, slide share uh, slide deck that I mentioned previously. So uh, again, being mindful of time. Um, 
let's go back to the deck here and I will just leave you with this one thought, which is someone in your tenancy must be looking at message center, whether it's directly at message center, subscribing to the email uh, summary of it, or using planner to, to manage it as a, uh, as a team sport. Um, you need to look at message center. Um, if you want to talk about message center more, uh, you're welcome to connect with me on LinkedIn. I also am a co-organizer of Microsoft 365 Community Day Chicago, which is July 20th. That will be a hybrid event. Um, and our call for speakers for that ends on May 26th, which is coming up real soon here. Find out more about the event at m365chicago.com. Thank you.